Hi everybody, my name is Professor Guzman, you can call me Professor G for short if you'd like to, and welcome to Summer Semester of Statistics with Algebra. I hope that you're excited to begin. I wanted to make a quick video to show you around the course. So right now what I have open is the Start Here page. This is the page that will open up automatically when you log into the course uh, for the first time. If you look on the left hand side of the screen, you will see um, this is how you are going to navigate the course. Um, let me go into student view so you can see it the way you will see it on your screen. So you can see there's a start here page, an announcement page, a syllabus page, course materials page, grades, etc. Okay, so um, start here is where it's going to open up for the first week of the course. Uh, once the first week is over, I'm going to change our home page to course materials because that is where you're going to want to go for all of the activities in the course. Um, so let me minimize the left hand side of the screen so that you can see the start here screen a little bit bigger. So let's just quickly go through what is what you'll find on this page. So first there's a welcome announcement from me along with some important information. You'll want to read through that. There's a Blackboard orientation that I encourage you to uh, complete if, especially if you're not familiar with Blackboard. It'll show you how to navigate Blackboard. It will show you how to to turn in assignments, etc. There is a digital copy of the syllabus, so if you would like to save a copy of that to your computer, I encourage you to do so. The syllabus has important information in it. It has um, all of my information, how to contact me. It has all of the objectives that we're going to be covering in the course. It has all of our course policies and procedures for the class so that you know um, what the expectations are, how you're graded, what the assignments are, when those are due, what the schedule is, etc. Next you'll find my contact info. I'm not in my office this semester so the best way to reach me is through email. If you would like to meet with me uh, you can schedule an appointment to meet with me before or after class or uh, some other time if, if you um, need some extra help just send me an email and we can work out a time that works with both of our schedules. Um, so I don't have a set time during the summer just because summers are a little bit crazy. Um, so, so I kind of just keep that open. So just email me and we can work out a time. Um, next is a couple of assignments that I would like for you to do. You can see they're worth 10 points each. The first one is to fill out the Academic Integrity Pledge. This is just basically where you're promising to turn in your own work and not someone else's. Um, you can click on the links that I have provided here so that you can read through FCC's Code of Student Conduct policies and procedures so that you know what is expected of you as a student at Frederick Community College. Um, so we take academic honesty and integrity uh, very seriously. Um, so that'll be worth 10 points to fill that out. Next, it is an assignment where you're basically registering for the homework website called Newton Alta. That's worth 10 points. All you have to do to sign up is click on this link. It will automatically link your Blackboard to your Newton account. Um, you don't have to really do much at all uh, except for pay for it. So it costs $40 for the semester if you purchase a subscription through the link here. Um, you also have the option of purchasing an access code through the bookstore at FCC. Uh, I do want to let you know that that may cost you a little bit more than the $40. Uh, so it's up to you how you would like to get that access code, but you can get it one of two ways through the bookstore or online as you're registering. Okay. Um, now, if you are not ready to purchase the your subscription for $40 because maybe you're waiting on some fin financial aid or something, it will give you the option to get two weeks of courtesy access for free. Okay, so everyone needs to go ahead and register regardless of whether or not you're ready to pay for it because you do not have to pay for it for the first 
two weeks. Now, after that, you do have to purchase it um, in order to continue using it. So as soon as you have the funds to pay for it, you want to make sure that you do that. Otherwise, you're going to fall behind on homework. And also, our tests are going to be through Newton Alta as well. So you want to make sure that you're able to do those. So definitely um, register ASAP. And as soon as you can pay for the access code, make sure you're paying for that. Again, you can get two weeks of courtesy access if needed. Uh, next, we have something called our guru that you need to register for. This is what we're going to be using to, um, to uh, analyze data, do statistical calculations. There, there are calculators that are part of our guru, so no one panic that you don't get to use calculators because this will allow you to do so. It is free, but you do need to follow the directions that are below here so that it will be free to you. Okay, so if you have questions about it, definitely let me know, but you want to go ahead and register for that ASAP as well because we have assignments that you will be using this website for to complete this first week. Uh, next, we have uh, the e-textbook that is free as well. Um, you can download the text in a PDF format, but you can also view it online, which is what I normally do. If you're a person who likes a hard copy of the textbook, it does give you the option to order a hard copy, although that does cost uh, money. Uh, if you're viewing it online or the PDF, you do not have to purchase anything. Um, we're basically using the textbook as a supplement so you can use it just to get some extra practice problems or to help you to understand the material better. And last on the start here page, you have how you are graded. So if you look at how you're graded, you can see that 25% of the, your grade goes to Newton Alta, which is the homework. 20% will be assignments and workshops that we do each week. 10% um, for test one, 10% for test two, and 10% for test three. So only 30% of the class uh, grade will come from tests. So hopefully if you're a person who gets a little bit nervous about tests, that might help ease your mind a little bit to know that tests aren't worth that much comparatively to um, the other categories. Then we have a final project that even though it's a final project you're working on it throughout the entire course and so that's worth 25 percent of your grade. So there you have it. That is the start here page and um, let's see. Now um, when you're ready to get started with the course um, Oh, let me just show you this. You can get to the syllabus by clicking on syllabus and there's a copy of it that I've pasted right here. You can go through it. You can see the organization, textbook information, how we're graded again, more info on homework and projects and tests and classwork and expectations there, time commitment, email communication, and then what you're really probably going to be interested in is this topical outline that shows you when everything is due and what objectives we're covering each week. Okay, so now um, the next thing I want to show you is course materials. So if you click on course materials, the first thing that you're going to see is this Padlet wall. This is a way for you to get help in the course. You can post your questions here. Uh, Please don't be shy because the questions are anonymous, so I can't see who posts them and neither can other students. So all you have to do to post a question is hit this plus sign on the right hand bottom of the screen. And then it's just like an email. You type in um, a subject and you can type in a message. Uh, you can even uh, add files or pictures or links. You can click on these three dots. It will even let you uh, draw out. You can click draw and you can draw out your question. Like you can write it. Like, let me show you. Like that. And then it will just pop up here. 
you can press publish and then I can leave a comment. Now comments are um, not anonymous if you have a Padlet account and you're signed in. So you can see my little picture is next to the comment. But if you're not signed into um, Padlet, then all comments will be anonymous as well. So um, please, please, please post your questions. They will benefit you and it will also benefit other people in the class. So I would love to see this board filled up with questions. And also, uh, because I'm hoping that we can build a learning community, if you see a classmate has posted a question that maybe you know the answer to, please don't be shy. Feel free to answer it. You don't have to wait for me to answer it. Uh, you can take initiative and answer it because sometimes the way you might be explaining something to um, one of your peers may be just what they need to read or hear um, because sometimes you can explain it in a different way that than I have you know thought of so uh, just keep that in mind this board is for everybody all right but below the board is weekly folders this is where you're gonna go for basically you know how to go to class when you know, at least the online portion of it so you're gonna click on weekly folders and you're gonna see um, each week will have a folder right now only week one is posted and it'll have the dates so you'll click on it and you can see the schedule for the week you can see um, um, when our class is going to be any assignments and activities and then homeworks that you have to do in the center you'll see the location of where to find these assignments, lectures, or homeworks on Blackboard, and on the right you'll see due dates. Below the agenda, you'll see folders that contain all of those various activities that you need to complete. So any readings from the textbook, links for that will be here in the week one readings. Um, we also have lecture videos and notes and PowerPoints, so you can click on those, and you can see I have videos, then I have slides. Those are the PowerPoints that are blank that I'm covering in the videos. And then you'll see some filled in notes. So let me just show you what those look like. So let's see, here's the lecture videos. Um, I usually post these as playlists. So like you can see this first one has three videos. So you want to make sure you watch all three. All right, so you can see the different videos for the week. All right. Um, then you can also click on slides and so you can see that I have the week one slides posted these are blank PowerPoints so you can um, open that or print them out if you want to and follow along with me as I'm going through the lecture um, there's also week one notes filled in so you can click on these and you can see here are the notes that basically they're the same slides but with notes filled in Okay, so everybody has access to blank notes and everybody has access to filled in notes every week. Okay. All right. So what else is in the week one folder? Um, we have assignments. So any assignments that you have for the week that are in that list, they're going to be posted in the assignments folder. So you can see for those first three assignments, the academic integrity pledge, registering for homework, and our guru are listed along with week one assignments uh, that go along with the material we're learning. So you want to click on each one of those to complete those. And last is uh, the homework folder. So if you click on the homework folder, you'll see any homework assignments that we are completing for the week. And uh, let's go to course materials. Let me just show you if you would like access to all of the homework. So like if you wanted to work ahead uh, or go back to previous week's homework without looking in the individual uh, weekly folders, you can see all of the homework assignments for the entire course listed under the Newton Alta homework. It is the link with the puppy dog eating the homework. All right, so you, can, you have access to every homework assignment right now. You do not have to wait for me to post them in, in the weekly folders. Um, 
Below that, you have access to the Arguru software. So if you want to get to that quickly, you can just click here, Arguru. Uh, you can also just type in arguru.com, which is usually what I do. Um, I do have some Arguru tutorials that I will be posting in the folder beneath it that kind of shows you how to use Arguru for different things. So you want to click on that when you need to. If you want access to the full textbook, you can just click here. And it'll take you to our textbook. And on the left, you can just click view online. You can also click download PDF. And you can see here's the whole um, uh, table of contents. If you want to look at it, like if you're on chapter four, you can click on four and you can see all the different sections of chapter four. OK, um, beneath that, there's my faculty information again. And uh, that is about it that's pretty much everything so um, I want to again welcome you to the course and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to email me at mguzman at frederick.edu or post your questions on this padlet wall here that's found under course materials alright I'm looking forward to meeting all of you in class bye <laughs>